Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles AFC Daily with me, Harry Simiou. If you're watching via YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it. That way you'll never miss an upload. If you're listening via our audio platforms, welcome. Please, please do. If you have just a spare minute, leave us a review. That is really, really important. And we hope that you're enjoying the daily content throughout the summer. Now, the big story doing the round today concerns Alexis Claude Maurice. The Lorient winger uh, or attacking midfielder, whatever you want to call him, has been strongly linked with a move to Arsenal over the last few weeks. But it now appears that this deal may not be happening. Initially, we were told that Arsenal had had uh, two bids for uh, Alexis Claude Maurice rejected and that they were set to go back with the third and that this third bid would be the one that got the deal done. Uh, unfortunately, though, some contrasting reports have come out today, and I'm not sure now what to believe. I'm kind of stuck in the middle here. We were told that the bids had been made. They'd both been rejected. Arsenal were going to make a third, and that would be it. But now we're being told that Arsenal had never made a bid at all, and that there was never uh, the level of interest in Alexis Claude Maurice that some media outlets would have had you believe. Um, but aside from that, anyway, put that to one side for a minute. It seems as though the player has his sights set on a move elsewhere. He's been quoted in Le Keep as saying, I want to join Gladbach. They are a club that focus on young players. There is a good structure. They are playing in the Europa League. I like their project and it suits me. So that could be, mean one of two things. It could mean either A, there was never the level of interest uh, from Arsenal that some people were reporting, or B, he's spoken to Arsenal and that there was interest there but perhaps he doesn't feel that the project is right for him. Could it be that maybe there are too many young attacking midfielders slash wide men coming through at Arsenal? He wasn't guaranteed game time, etc., etc. Who knows? We don't really know for certain. But, you know, there's a good chance that this story was bollocks in the first place. And there's a good chance that maybe he just prefers to play elsewhere. Who knows? We'll have to see what happens with that one. But... Uh, real contrasting reports coming out today compared to what was being said just two or three days ago. Alexis Claude Maurice was one of a long list of players that the media were reporting uh, Arsenal had agreed personal terms with. Don't know what to say. Arsenal continue to be linked with Celtic left-back Kieran Tierney. It's no secret that Arsenal need a left-back this summer, uh, but whether he is the man to fill uh, the position remains to be seen. The Scottish Daily Mail this morning are running a story uh, suggesting that a bid is imminent and they also report that Unai Emery has told his board that the Scot is the kind of signing who can help drag the club out of its current state. Hmm. Not sure about that. Not sure how the Scottish Daily Mail would know uh, what Unai Emery said to his board. But anyway, um, that's the thing with journalism, isn't it? You, you never really know who's got sources where and who's telling the truth and who's uh, stretched the truth and who's making complete bullshit up out of thin air. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. No doubt he's a talented youngster. No doubt he's a player that a lot of fans would love to see come to the Arsenal. But at this moment in time, uh, I cannot sit here and say to you that there is anything concrete uh, on this one. And uh, after what's seemingly happening with the Claude Maurice deal, it's very hard to have any faith in some of these reports. I guess this is the problem, isn't it? With transfer silly season, as uh, I like to call it. In other news, Arsenal striker Eddie Nketiah has been linked with a move to Charlton. And I guess that wouldn't be a bad thing. I mean, he's certainly not... Uh, ready to play in Arsenal's first team. I've been very vocal about that throughout last season. Um, I think he needs to, uh, you know, earn his stripes a little more. I think he needs more game time. I think he would benefit from more senior football. Danny Welbeck's gone, of course. Um, it seems as though we may have signed Gabriel Martinelli, who's another striker. So perhaps this is the right move for Eddie and Ketia Charlton, of course, moving into the uh, championship next season with Lee Bowyer as the manager. And he's proven... Uh, to be quite a good coach, old Lee Bowyer. Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't think he would do as well as he has done. Um, but considering all the problems at Charlton concerning the owner, etc., he's done a fantastic job. And uh, so for Eddie and Ketia to go there may not be the worst thing in the world. Um, you know, Freddie Lundberg has been promoted. We, we spoke about that yesterday. Um, we spoke about the fact that that probably signals Arsenal looking to go uh, down the youth route. Um, but, you know, 
just because you're going to go down that route doesn't mean you should hold on to players and prevent them developing uh, by going out on loan. For me, Eddie Nketiah isn't ready. And I think the harsh reality is that of all the youngsters that we talk about at Arsenal Football Club, the the Sackers, the Reese Nelsons, the Emil Smith Rose, the Enketias, etc., etc. Only a handful of those players are going to be good enough. Only a handful of them are going to cut the mustard at Arsenal. And we have to be aware of that when planning. It's no good putting all your eggs in that basket. It's great to promote youth. It's a good way of saving money. It's a good way of competing when you perhaps don't have the resources that some of your competitors do. But we've got to be realistic about our expectations of these players. Sending some of them out on loan wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I think that perhaps what Unai Emery could do a little bit differently is uh, use a bit more youth in the Europa League and in the Cups. I think Unai Emery uh, perhaps didn't give youth as much of an opportunity as he could have last season. But as I've said on, on podcasts throughout the season, I don't necessarily blame him for that. I think a new manager needs to be certain um, about certain things. He needs to... Uh, you know, do what he feels is right in order to get the results. Unfortunately, come the end of the season, we didn't get those results. Um, and, and, you know, we fell away, etc., etc. But that's another debate for another day. Um, but if Unai Emery is going to give these boys a chance, they have to prove it. Uh, they have to prove their worth. And it's hard to say that they have when they haven't featured anywhere near enough in the first team. Letting somebody like Eddie Nketiah go out to Charlton can only be a good thing for me. Uh, so I fully back that move and I hope to see it done in the coming uh, weeks. That brings us to the end of today's Chronicles AFC Daily. Just a short one today, not a great deal uh, to report. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Just a quick reminder to hit the subscribe, like button. And if you're listening via the audio, please, please do leave us a review. We'll be back uh, tomorrow with another edition of the Chronicles AFC Daily uh, bringing you the latest news and gossip uh, surrounding Arsenal Football Club until then uh, enjoy the rest of your day take care and uh, we'll be back tomorrow <laughs>